Understanding Quartiles, a Comprehensive Guide to Calculating and Interpreting Data Distributions. In statistical analysis, quartiles play a critical role in understanding the distribution of data. They provide insights into the range, central tendency, and dispersion of a dataset. This article delves into calculating quartiles using both spreadsheet functions and manual methods, and discusses their importance in data analysis. What are quartiles? Quartiles are statistical values that divide a dataset into four equal parts, each containing 25% of the data points. The three quartiles are 1. First quartile, Q1 This is the median of the first half of the dataset and represents the 25th percentile, below which 25% of the data lies. 2. Second quartile, Q2 This is the median of the entire dataset, which divides it in half, representing the 50th percentile. 3. Third quartile, Q3 This is the median of the second half of the dataset and represents the 75th percentile, below which 75% of the data lies. Calculation of quartiles using Excel For anyone familiar with Excel, calculating quartiles can be achieved easily through built-in functions. Given a dataset of student scores, you can calculate the quartiles as shown below. 1. Dataset Student score A59 B60 C65 D65 E68 F69 G70 H72 I75 J75 K76 L77 M81 N82 O84 P87 Q90 R95 2. Using Excel functions To calculate the median Excel equals median A2 R2 forward slash forward slash result 75 to calculate the quartiles Excel equals quartile A2 R2 1 forward slash forward slash result 68.25 Q1 equals quartile A2 R2 2 forward slash forward slash result 75 Q2 median equals quartile A2 R2 3 forward slash forward slash result 81.75 Q3 manual calculation of quartiles calculating quartiles manually requires a more hands-on approach and can often lead to slightly different results than software calculations here's how to do it 1 ordered dataset to find quartiles first arrange the data in ascending order 2 calculation formula first quartile q1 backslash n plus 1 backslash times backslash frac 1 4 backslash second quartile q2 backslash n plus 1 backslash times backslash frac 2 4 backslash third quartile q3 backslash n plus 1 backslash times backslash frac 3 4 backslash where backslash n backslash is the total number of data points given the data set 59 60 65 65 68 69 70 72 75 75 76 77 81 82 84 87 90 95 for 18 data points q1 backslash 19 backslash times backslash frac 1 4 backslash equals 4.75 average of fourth and fifth values 65 plus 68 slash 2 equals 66.5 q2 backslash 19 backslash times backslash frac 2 4 backslash equals 9.5 average of ninth and tenth values 75 plus 75 slash 2 equals 75 Q3 backslash, 19 backslash times backslash frac, 3, 4, backslash, equals 14.25, average of 14th and 15th values, 82 plus 84, 
slash 2 equals 83. Interquartile range, IQR. Another key aspect of quartiles is the interquartile range, IQR, which is calculated as backslash, Q3, Q1 backslash. This measure of variability gives insight into how spread out the middle 50% of the data is and is particularly useful for identifying potential outliers. For our example dataset, IQR equals backslash 81.75 minus 68.25 is equal to 13.5 backslash. Special considerations and quartile skewness. 1. Quartile skewness. If Q1 is farther from Q2 than Q3 is, it indicates a left skewed distribution, more lower values. Conversely, if Q3 is farther from Q2 than Q1, the distribution is right skewed, more higher values. 2. Even versus odd data points. For an even number of data points, the median is calculated by averaging the two middle numbers. Conclusion Understanding quartiles enriches your statistical toolkit by allowing for more detailed analysis of your dataset. Whether you're in academia, finance, or any research field, mastering the concept of quartiles and being able to calculate them will prove invaluable. They not only help in understanding the central tendency and dispersion of your data but also provide a gateway to advanced statistical analyses like box plots and hypothesis testing. Utilizing tools like Excel can streamline this process, making it much easier to derive meaningful insights from large datasets.